Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I promised an analysis this weekend of Captain America Steve Rogers, number two. I'm a little late though, and by now every self-respecting comic book channel has posted a recap or a review. So I'm going to look at the issue from a cultural studies perspective and analyze the impact it's had on fan culture. The big reveal in issue number two is that Cap has not always been a Hydra sleeper agent, as issue one indicated. When Kobik restored his youth, she made him believe he was a Hydra agent because she had been manipulated by the Red Skull into thinking allegiance to Hydra was true happiness. In other words, the whole Hydra Cap nonsense boils down to mind control, something that only a month ago both writer Nick Spencer and editor Tom Brevoort swore wasn't the case. A number of reasons could be behind the inconsistency between their comments and the content of issue number two. They may have panicked over the fan outcry and rushed to tweak the story reveal in the next issue. Or maybe they were just plain lying to their readers to feed the controversy and gain publicity. Whatever the reason, the fiasco left a scar on many fans that will no doubt prove slow to fade. No matter how the story continues to play out, the way Spencer and Brevoort have handled the situation in the media will remain as a smear on their Captain America run. How can I say that without having read the entire story arc? Because I'm not talking about the story arc. I'm talking about how the planned spectacle of these two issues have affected all sides of the fan community. Superheroes are supposed to bring out the best in us. Captain America, perhaps more than any other hero, should inspire us to be better than we are. These last two issues, however, have brought out the worst in fan culture. Irate fans tweeted hate and death threats to Nick Spencer. Comic book writers and artists condescended to anyone who dared voice concern with the Say No to Hydra Cap hashtag. And now, after issue number two, fans condescend among themselves, as though anyone who allowed Hydra Cap to upset them now somehow has egg on their face. As I said in my video about issue number one, Marvel consciously decided to end the first issue with the Hail Hydra panel. They knew the controversy it would invoke. They were no doubt counting on it to compete with the release of DC's Rebirth on the same day. In whichever order their decisions came in next, they consciously decided to both insist this plot was not a result of mind control, and then to make it the result of mind control in the next issue. Writing a good Captain America story was clearly secondary to making a grab for publicity. As a result, fans and comic creators were inspired to act far more like Hydra agents themselves than our hero, the Sentinel of Liberty. As I said before, the mythological figure of Captain America deserves better than this. His fans deserve better than this, and Spencer and Brevoort are capable of so much better than this. Shock Factor editorial decisions don't have to lack great story. Look at Jane Porter's Thor or Sam Wilson's Captain America. Despite the controversy to the changes in the characters, solid stories are being told in both runs. You can take heart, though, if you too see the unfortunate nature of this situation. For not only is Captain America better than this treatment, he's also bigger than it. Characters like him have too great a hold on the public consciousness to be altered for very long. Look at the far more drastic case of Superman. Rebooted to be moody, inexperienced, and insecure, the fan response eventually led DC to kill that character off and bring back the original in all of his glory. Captain America will continue to throw his mighty shield, and ultimately, all writers and editors who oppose his shield must... well, you get the point. If you like this video, be sure to click like and subscribe. My Professor Geek videos are added to this playlist every Wednesday and most weekends. And for more original content from myself and my colleagues, check out this channel's other playlists. Until next time, keep enjoying and digging deeper into the superhero stories you love. Thanks for watching.